How do you use Zoom? So, guys, this is Kevin Dutois. Let me take you to the steps so you can see my mouse around here. Let's launch Chrome. What is Zoom? Okay, this is important. I want to quickly go over this with you. Zoom Video is a communication service. It's a remote conferencing company headquartered in San Jose, California, otherwise known as Silicon Valley. It provides a remote conferencing service that combines video conferencing, online meetings, chat, and mobile collaboration. And why I love Zoom so much, let's go there right now, is because not only can I hold the meetings from the comfort of my own home, I can also record them to for future reference, um, for future training and education. So let's get started. Okay, this is what it looks, looks like. Zoom.us to most of you that want to go there. Um, what I like about Zoom, it's pretty much the most basic, simple conferencing video service to use. Okay, you can sign up for free, of course. Um, they do have different plans and prices here. Again, this is the basic use of Zoom. I'm not going to go into the advanced um, uh, ex uh, uh, elevated version. I'm just looking at the free. What I like about the free is it's free. You can host up to 100 participants, unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings. You have up to 40 minutes per time. Guys, what that means is you've got unlimited face-to-face -face conversations that contact sport to your heart's content in the comfort of your own home um, while we're in this pandemic of being quarantined in our homes. It's now the 1st of April. Soon it's going to be the 2nd of April. We've got about another almost 30 days of quarantine here in the US, at least in Southern California. Um, so let's get started. Uh, go with the free. If you're advanced, this video pretty much isn't for you. But what I'm doing is I'm going to take you to the steps of how to use Zoom to, to be engaged in your business, to um, contact clients, um, to record those conversations and have um, updates and ways for you to merge your business line with the virtual world. So we're going to host a meeting, which I normally do myself because I interview um, people for my broadcast channel on YouTube. We can join a meeting. If you're sent a Zoom uh, uh, a link to join a meeting, you'll click this link over here. And here's where you'll paste that meeting ID or personal link name within this connection in this window here and hit join. Let me take you through how to schedule a meeting because that really is the most important thing. So over here, I'm going to go um, schedule a meeting with uh, Tony Fletcher, um, Premier. I've already done that. I can send him a brief description over here where you change the time to a meeting with Tony tomorrow at 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. On the second, we're there already. Uh, remember, we can only do 40 minutes. My interviews take 30 minutes or less. Pretty much about 18 minutes is my, my cap. Okay, this isn't a recurring meeting. Um, it's going to generate an automatic uh, ID number for me. And um, he has a password if they want to call in. Okay, I want the host video on and I want the participant to be able to record the video. This isn't a telephone. This is a computer, but I want both. Okay. And then I also want to, in my meeting options over here, I want to be able to uh, mute participants. So if I'm talking to 100 people, I want to have control over the meeting. So make sure you select that. You can enable meeting room if you want to. You can also um, enable join before host. Not really. If people get there before you, that's fine. And then record the meeting automatically on your local computer. Yes, I always record my meetings. The reason being for future reference. Let's save that. Boom, okay, here we are. There it is, topic Tony Fletcher. I can start this meeting automatically if I want to, or what I can do is I can send Tony a link. What I do is I just hit this little button over here, copy and paste. It says copy meeting invitation. Click that button. It's like copy to my clipboard. I can now go into my email. Let's go into my email quickly to show you. Um, boom, boom, boom. Hopefully there's anything too important or too private in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send to an email. Let me compose email there and there. Now just copy and paste. Boom, there it is. Kevin Tutuai is inviting to schedule Zoom meeting. There's a topic, there's a time and date set, there's a Zoom meeting. Here's the URL that you can send in or the meeting ID that you can put in that window. Okay, guys, so there it is there. And then I send it to subject line. I'm going to call this a test and then to 
uh, whomever I'm sending this off to. Okay, let's close that, go out over here, back over here. So this is important. The nice thing about this is, let's now go and start a meeting, okay? Um, keep it simple, guys. You don't have to focus on the other settings or the webinar, unless you're advanced. You can go explore this later. This is just really for you right now to start the basics. Let's start the meeting. What's going to happen is going to prompt you to this window over here, okay? I really downloaded the desktop app or application, if you want to call it that. Um, if you haven't, if you don't have it, you can click this link over here. You can see me circling this, download and run Zoom. I already have it. I'm going to click over here. Boom. There I am there. Okay, so what this says now is, um, now I can host a meeting. I can go ahead and I can add participants. Um, I would click this anyway when you're in a Zoom chat, and I'll click chat. What happens is on the right-hand side, you can see who's in the chat, and over here, you can also text messages. Test, and they get the text message. This will go to everyone within the chat, and then that way, they can, um, you can all, you can uh, see um, if you have a link or uh, image you want to share or some content. Over here, I'm off, so you can see the video is red. If you want to click me off, you can mute me. You, that's been the user, you can mute me over there. Now you want to hear me, I, I'm going to unmute myself. But what I'm trying to say is that you can do that if you want to mute me because you have to go maybe um, take a quick restroom break. You can mute me or, or I, make sure you're always muted yourself. Always mute yourself. Now I control that, so I'll control you. But you always want to make sure that you're muted unless ask a question from the host, unmute yourself. There you go there, okay? So make sure that's always unmuted. Um, over here, there's some few features. Uh, you can go ahead and you can share your screen. I can go ahead and share my computer screen. This gives you a few windows. So whiteboard, iPad, iPhone, um, or my desktop. So if you know if I click that and I share, you're gonna see, um, allows them to share screen. Yes, I will open systems, great. This is what you're seeing. I'm gonna, Close that because I don't need that. That's what you're going to be seeing. Um, that's really the basis, guys. Here's where you can record and where you can pause um, and add reactions, of course. You want to enlarge the screen to fill your whole computer. Great. Hopefully, this helps. Hopefully, this gives you a basic understanding and makes it easier for you to go ahead and start continuing moving forward purposefully with your business. The most important thing is stick to your schedule at least your weekly schedule or if you're in any other independent contractor service that you keep focused on your business and you want to get out of it and go back to your desktop you can click this exit full screen over here or just click the escape on your on your keypad uh, that's all I'm gonna end this meeting and I hope this finds you well guys cheers